Hi everyone, thank you for watching. Yvonne Blasquez here. I'm going to be talking about how to eat passion fruit. Now, I have one here and I actually went ahead and cut it. So all you need really is a knife and you just cut it straight down the center. So this is what it looks like. So what you do is just put it on a cutting board or a plate and you just slowly, it's dry. So you got to really kind of cut into it. And when you cut it in half, um, it looks kind of kind of like gooey looking but it's um, it's a very good fruit so my favorite way of eating it is I actually like to eat it as is like I just use this as like a little little boat mmm I don't know if you can hear that it's got a crunch the seeds are awesome so it's kind of a really tart but very kind of a citrusy taste and um, I'll put some studies down at the bottom of this video but, bait, but essentially it's a very rich source of vitamin C it's also been shown to have a decent antioxidant content although there needs to be more research to, um, to identify but it's also a very good source of fiber it's low in calories and it's also a good source of vitamin A and it has a few B vitamins so it's an exotic fruit um, I don't get it all the time, but whenever I do get it, I never regret it because it's it's just a phenomenal fruit. Now, all fruit is good. Now, some fruit better than others, you know, but this is definitely one of one of the better fruits because typically exotic fruits tend to have exotic health benefits. In other words, unique. And so uh, I that's why if you look at a lot of supplements, they have exotic fruits like noni, acai, berry, um, and just many other exotic fruits tend to have um, high antioxidant levels and so forth. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this does. It does have high antioxidants, there just needs to be more research on it. But it is a very good source of vitamin C. And so um, hopefully this video is helpful for you next time you're at uh, your grocery store and they, and they sell these. And they're also, they're actually, the skin is supposed to, the skin of it is supposed to be kind of like wrinkled like that. That's when you know it's ripe. When it's, when it's really smooth, it's not ripe. It's not really, um, it's like eating an unripe fruit. It's just not going to be as um, palatable. But if you see it wrinkled like that, like this is really just ideal. Thank you for watching.